Oh god, I need to grab some water. So every time I cough, uh, people at my home, they're like, Damn boy, do you have the coronavirus? Howdy guys, my name is Benjamin. If it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. And today we're doing something different. I want to talk to you guys about PlayStation 5. I have to do it. So I did watch the live stream, the showcase, the price reveal event that Sony did on September 16th. It was 2 a.m. in the morning here in India. So I couldn't live stream it, sorry for that. But when they revealed God of War, I absolutely lost my shit. I did. I'm seeing that there is a lot of confusion, especially among citizens of India. India is obviously where I live in. So I'm going to try to help my Indian fellows, my Indian fellas with this video and um, I don't know about other parts of the world but I will try my best. I'll just let you in on all of the details that we have so far. This is the future. Alright guys, so first off, let's talk about the price. Y'all already probably know this by now if you don't. Here we go. We have PlayStation Digital Edition at 399 on the right here and PlayStation Physical Edition at 499 US dollars. All right, so I just did a quick Google search. The launch price for PlayStation 4 Pro was $400, which if you do the math, you multiply 400 by 70, um, you get what? 28,000 rupees, all right? That's what the price for PlayStation 4 Pro should be. But obviously we don't have it here for 28,000 rupees. We have it here for 40,000 rupees. That's what it, you know, just launched at here in India. So 12,000 rupees worth of taxes. So it's going to be the same story here with PlayStation 5, I'm gonna tell you. So when you do the math, we have what? $500 for the PlayStation 5, right? The big boy, the main thing. So 35,000, 36,000 approx. 36,000 but that's not going to be the case add 10 to 12,000 more taxes that's what it's going to be so you're looking you're looking at um, somewhere between 44 to 50,000 rupees here which absolutely sucks and for the digital edition you're looking at just do the math add 12 or 10,000 bucks to 28,000 so it's going to cost you around 40 to 45,000 around that which again sucks. Taxes. Now look at this. We are getting the PlayStation 4 Pro. Obviously it's not available on Amazon. I did that Google search with Amazon word in it. But did not appear. We're all out of shit here in India. Corona hit us hard. Real hard. So prepaid games. It's a good website. I trust them. So they are selling it for what? 37,000 rupees. So what just absolutely blows my mind is that this is the price that we're getting the PlayStation 5 in the US. Think about it. Think about that, guys. You're getting a PlayStation 5 in America at the price of a PlayStation 4 in India. Just let that sink in. Human error. All right, guys, let's talk about the release date. November 12th, obviously for US, Japan, Canada, Mexico, Australia, New Zealand, and South Korea. And for us here in India and the rest of the world, Netherlands, Germany, all that stuff on November 19th, one week later, which is fine by me. And this, of course, is this article is on PlayStation blog. I'll just leave the links to all of the articles in the description. <laughs> Alright guys, let's talk about pre-orders and this is just absolutely crazy what I'm about to tell you. You probably already know, but if you don't, I'm gonna tell you. So Sony said after their showcase ended on September 16th, there was like pre-orders will begin tomorrow, which was 17th of September. But what ended up happening is that the pre-orders started two to three hours right after that event ended. Retailers, all these, you know... Uh, Best Buy, Walmart, um, GameStop, all of these guys, they just started the pre-order, right? And it was just chaos. And the units, they were sold out within minutes. Nobody could get their hands on it. GameStop website, it crashed. And people went to the stores, I heard. And they just, they had the fucking money in their hands, but they just couldn't get their hands on the console. 
and it was Sony's fault. They could have just simply mentioned it here that pre-orders start at this and this time, at this and this date. So if you're in India, you're probably looking at Flipkart, Amazon and Game Loot. These are the three websites that I trust that you can just go and look for pre-orders. Amazon India still says the same bullshit. Notify me. They just don't have anything else there as of now, right? And Game Loot is good. Check it out. Gameloot.in. I'll just leave the website link in the description. Not sponsored. Not. God damn you. Not sponsored. All right. Ain't nobody sponsoring me. So if you're in India, just wait till the end of September or probably just the end of the coming week and retailers and all of these shops they'll just start with the pre-orders so just wait and yeah and i don't uh, think that there will be a shortage of consoles here in india as much as you know in other parts of the world all right guys so let's talk about the ps4 launch games astro's playroom it will be installed on the system just a little game and demon souls demon souls remake obviously it's a it's from the dark souls series before it was called dark souls it was called demon souls and you can just look at all of those trailers i'll leave the links to all of these trailers game trailers in the description you can check it out and Destruction All-Stars, I honestly have not heard of this game. Marvel Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Crazy, and obviously the Ultimate Edition as well, and Sackboy. Yeah, so those are the launch games that you'll be able to play on release date. There are also third-party games releasing right, I mean, in that week. So you have Call of Duty, Black, uh, what, 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 what? Call of Duty Cold War, Black Ops Cold War, yes, on 13th of November. And then you have uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, probably it's releasing on 10th with Xbox, 10th of November. And on 19th November, you have Cyberpunk 2077. So those are the games that you'll be able to play. This is the future. Okay, so let's just quickly talk about backwards compatibility. Sony has said that on day one, when you get your PlayStation, you'll be able to put in 99% of the PlayStation 4 game discs, of which I have quite a few here, and you'll be able to play them. They'll be compatible. But PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation 3 games are not compatible with PlayStation 5. The CPU is obviously x86, AMD Ryzen Zen 2, 8 core, 16 threads, quite impressive to be honest. And the GPU is the flagship AMD Radeon RDNA 2 based with ray tracing. Miles Morales is using ray traced reflections and ray traced shadows. So that's going to be crazy to see. And even if you don't have a 4K television, do not worry. The PlayStation has an HDMI 2.0. So you're fine with 1080p monitors or TVs which is fine, no problemo, you can upgrade later on, just like me, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so the GPU is obviously 10.3 T-flops, which is obviously impressive, and it's crazy to see that it's more than double the power of the PlayStation 4 Pro, which I believe is 4 teraflops. Okay, moving on to system memory, it's GDR GDDR6, god damn, I can't talk, GDDR6, 16 gigabytes, and the best part that Sony has highlighted the SSD, 825 gigabytes of custom SSD. I'll tell you what, 5.5 gigabytes of read write speed raw, right? That's raw. And now you can go like, oh, the freaking PCIe Gen 4 cards can easily do that, right? But when you look at compressed data, which the developers will be using, this has the read and write bandwidth of 9 gigabytes per second, which is just absolutely out of this world and you're looking at no load times at all in games that's going to be uh, the most significant improvement in next gen playstation games hdmi 2.0 as you can see here and all that uh, good stuff i can miss this the tempest 3d audio tech so obviously this as well you're going to experience 3d audio now i don't know how that's going to sound if it's going to be like the 3d audio in ghost of tsushima which was quite impressive 
in my opinion, but obviously it's going to be even more epicer than Ghost of Tsushima's audio because this is just a whole different technology. So yeah, these are the specs. Quite impressive and you can just look at how, you know, how heavy it's going to be, what are the dimensions and all that. This is the future. The question is here should you get the digital edition PlayStation 5 or should you get the physical edition PlayStation 5 and the answer i think is not as complicated as people think so let me just uh, tell you this PlayStation 5 digital edition is without a disc drive and PlayStation 5 the normal edition physical let's call it that the standard edition has a disc drive So what that means is if you have PlayStation 4 games if you have physical disc of PlayStation 4 games and you want to play it you can't put them in so that is a downside to that number 2 you only have to buy games from the PlayStation store digitally of course the thing here is if you just look at these consoles the only difference is disc drives and it costs Sony 20 to 30 bucks for those disc drives So why in the world is there a hundred dollar difference, right? So I'm gonna tell you why. So Daniel Ahmed, he is the OG in you know reporting everything related to games and whatnot. So here's the uh, question. He just says, why is Sony willing to drop the price of the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition so low? Higher margins for digital games and services. The user will never buy a disc. Lower margin. All right. Sony earns around. 50% more when you buy a third party game digitally so if you have noticed or if you haven't if you're just new to PlayStation the thing is if you go to Amazon you're looking at games like after they've released Last of Us 2 is now selling for 2500 rupees and it launched at 4000 rupees right so 1500 rupees less and uh similarly in US dollars i think it's around 45 or 50 dollars but it's cheaper than what it originally launched at which was 60 dollars but when you go to the playstation store games stay at 60 dollars all the goddamn time why would you pay 4000 rupees or 60 dollars for a game that is already one or two years old why in the heck but if you buy a digital edition playstation 4 which does not have a disc drive you have no choice you have to pay those 60 dollars with the physical games you will miss out on those sometimes you get games as cheap as 10 dollars right it went on uh, borderlands 3 went on best buy for 10 dollars you can buy those discs because you can use them on your digital playstation 4 S- uh, playstation 5 sorry i just want to say that get the playstation 500 dollar one the expensive one because you know you just buy this thing one generation now one suggestion that i would like to give you is that you're not if you're not a reviewer if you are not a youtuber if you just want to buy it to play it don't worry about pre-orders don't worry about getting your hands on the console on launch day the reason why i say that is there are two reasons reason number one is that if there is a slim chance there is if there happens to be a hardware issue with the console let's say like blue light of death or whatever you know the shit that happens with consoles there is some hardware issue and your console is bricked you know it's just fucked so you can wait two months or three months This maybe i i don't think there is enough time you know sometimes these problems get discovered after an year of usage but just wait three months six months if you can and maybe those problems will uh, appear and sony will fix them and then be, maybe even they'll launch a slimmer uh, version of the console like they always do so waiting is always good if you are not uh, you know just if you are not like damn i need to buy this console on launch day because uh, um, you know i want to make videos on it if you just want to play it and if you can wait wait for 3 to 6 months and then buy it but uh, these new consoles i'll say it again they are very strong there is not a lot of chance of failure there's not but there is of course always a slim chance all right guys so that is all that i wanted to talk to you guys about playstation 5 i'm very excited so should you be so if you have any questions comment them down below i will reply to each and every comment 
to the best of my knowledge obviously please drop a like and consider subscribing because if i upload a new video which i will definitely do mafia definitive edition is the next game that we're going to play on 25th of september you're going to see it first and just hitting that subscribe button cost absolutely nothing right so please do that if you want to see more and i will see you guys in the next one benjamin signing off This is the future.